Rounding to the proper number of significant figures when we perform addition or subtraction is a little bit different than multiplication and division. In addition and subtraction, we want to use the fewest decimal places in our final answer. So in this example, I'm adding 2.012, 61.09, and 3.0. And the first number goes to the thousandths place. Second number goes to the hundredths place. And the last number is to the tenths place. Notice that they've been all organized so that the decimal place is lined up. This helps you to better see where you should round. We want to round to the least decimal places. So that goes to the tenths place. When we calculate this out on the calculator, or if we calculate it by hand, we get 66.102. When I draw on this line, you can see very easily that we want to round that point 0.1. So that 1 is our last significant figure. The zero that comes after it is going is below 5, so that means we're going to round it to 66.1. In this example, we're going to subtract 65.09, subtract 3.0 from that. 65.09 goes to the hundredths place, 3.0 is to the tenths. If we draw in our line, on the calculator, we get 62.09. Rounding that, I get 62.1 because that 9 is over 5, so the 0 rounds up to 1. In this example, 82.409 milligrams plus 22.0 milligrams. The first value, I have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The second one I have to the tenths. Our final answer is going to have to be round to the tenths place. Our answer becomes 104.4 milligrams.